Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You are now tuned in to Rangel Estonilo TV, Char. So, we are to discuss the radiological units and quantities, which is one of the modules under RT212. This is radiation production and characteristics. So, this morning, we will discuss radiological units and quantities. If you still remember our module 1, so we have defined the base quantities, the secondary or derived quantities, and of course, the special quantities, the quantities that are confined in the field of radiological sciences. So by the way, guys, um, our videos are uh, divided into four parts. So for this video, I will discuss all about the quantity under exposure so succeeding videos will discuss absorbed dose um, dose equivalent and the activity so let's start with the uh, exposure so exposure or symbolized by a uh, small letter x so also see x kasi mag valentine's day na so when we say exposure this is radiation intensity in air so without any interaction pa lang sa patient so, this is defined as exposure. So, the definition is actually in terms of electric charge per unit mass in air. And it is the amount of electric charge, delta Q, produced by ionizing electromagnetic radiation per mass or delta M of air. And this is called exposure. So, we have given the formula delta Q over delta M. So, Q is in terms of charge or column per kilo, uh, column, and mass is in terms of kilogram. That is why, next, so our uh, exposure is in the units of charge per mass. Charge is in terms of column, and mass is in terms of kilogram, or this is column per kilogram. So, the historical unit of exposure is rentgen, which is defined as, for every one rentgen, there are 2.58 times 10 raised to the negative 4 column per kilogram. So, when we convert uh, S, uh, traditional down to uh, as a unit, so this is our conversion factor. Remember again, class, that for every one rentgen, there are 2.58 times 10 raised to the negative 4 column per kilogram. So let's have a simple exercise. Let's convert number 1 and number 2. Okay, class, so now we are going to convert 25 milli rentgen into micro column per kilogram. So as you can see, I have written, I have copied 25 millirentgen and copied the unit millirentgen and now place the mother unit which is now in rentgen. So now you have to ask yourself, Hainan mas dako, is it rentgen or millirentgen? So of course, you can say, mas dako ang rentgen. So therefore, for every one rentgen, there are how many millirentgen? So milli that is in terms of 3, diba? So 1 milli rentgen, that is, ah, no, no, 1 rentgen, there are 10 raised to positive 3 milli rentgen. Which means, nag-equal na si duha. Kasi sa ganda ton, mas dako si rentgen kaysa milli rentgen. Therefore, para mag-tupong ang rentgen, ng milli rentgen, papadako unta si milli rentgen. Okay. So now we are going to cancel millirentgen. So what remains is rentgen. Now we have to cross over from rentgen or from the uh, traditional unit going now to the SI unit. So copy rentgen. And of course, since this is not a traditional, we have to, cut, uh, to place the SI unit, which is in terms of column per kilogram. Okay, so now there is an equivalent, diba? So, for every one rentgen, to, so there are 2.58 times 10 raised to the negative 4 column per kilogram. So, we have to cancel rentgen. 
So what remains is column per kilogram. So we have to copy column per kilogram as the denominator. And finally, place the unit which we are looking for, the microcolumn per kilogram. Now ask yourself, hi Ms. Dako, is it microcolumn per kilogram or column per kilogram? So of course, you can say na mas dako ay column per kilogram. So therefore, para magtupong yung microcolumn per kilogram to column per kilogram, kailangan padakuon pa si microcolumn per kilogram. Which, for every one column per kilogram, there are 10 raised to 6 column per kilogram. So cancel natin ang column per kilogram. Of course, what remains is the micro column per kilogram. Okay, so here it is. So 25 milli rentgen. Tapos, for every 1 rentgen, there are 10 raised to 3 milli rentgen. So cancel milli rentgen. So we are now going to convert the traditional into the SA unit. So for every 1 rentgen, there are 2.58 times 10 raised to the negative 4 column per kilogram. And, of course, to find the unit which we are looking for, so we are going to convert column per kilogram into micro column per kilogram. Which we said that for every one column per kilogram, there are 10 raised to 6 col micro column per kilogram. So now we are going to combine all the exponents and we are going to combine all the whole numbers. So we have here whole numbers, 25 and 2.58. Okay? So... Uh, 25, that will be multiplied by 2.58. So, uh, para naman kita whole number sa aton denominator. Diba? So, which means we are going to combine all the exponents. So, now... We are going to, again, to combine all the exponents. So, let's start with the numerator first. So, let's combine negative 4 plus positive 6. So, therefore, that will become, so negative 4 plus positive 6, so that will become positive 2. So, how about the denominator? So, only one exponent. So, according to the rule of exponent, so when we are dividing exponent, we are going to change the sign of the denominator. Then, we are going to proceed with addition. So, plus. So, from positive, magiging negative. Okay, so... 25 multiplied by 2.58, that will become, very good, that will become 64.5 times 10. So positive 2 plus negative 3, that will become negative 1. So copy our unit, micro column per kilogram. So, um, finally, we are going to make this uh, uh, expression into a proper scientific notation. Diba? Pag proper scientific notation, there should only one whole number followed by decimal. So, in, sim uh, in simple definition, so we are going to move the decimal into to the left in by 1. So, dito siya. And, our answer will become 6.45 micro column per kilogram. Okay? Okay.
So at this point, we are going to convert 65 milli column per kilogram into nanorand again. So from the SI, going now to traditional unit. So again, let's copy 65 milli column per kilogram. Then let's copy the unit as a denominator. So that will become milli column per kilogram. And then find its mother unit the root or that will become column per kilogram. So now again, evaluate or ask yourself, Hi, Mas Baku, is it milli column per kilogram or the column per kilogram? Okay, very good. So that is column per kilogram. Therefore, for every one column per kilogram, so again, milli, so there are 1,000 milli column per kilogram or that is 10 raised to positive 3 milli column per kilogram so cancel so now let's copy column per kilogram as a denominator and then convert from the uh, as a unit going now to traditional unit but in a crossover so uh, column per kilogram going to rent gain. So you already know the value that for every one rent gain, there are 2.58 times 10 raised to the negative 4 column per kilogram. Again, cancel column per kilogram. So now going now to the unit which we are looking for, the nano rent gain. So, copy muna natin the rent gain as a denominator. Then, nano rent gain. So, again, evaluate yourself. Oh, yourself talaga. Evaluate. Which is bigger? Rent gain or nano rent gain? Of course, that is rent gain. Now, remember that nano, di ba? Nano, nine. So, for every one nano, ay, nano, for every one rent gain, there are 10 raised to 9 nano rent gain. So, cancel rent gain. So now, again, we are going to combine all the whole numbers and the exponents. So, combine all the whole numbers, 65, combined with 2.58. Therefore, we are to divide 65 divided by 2.58. So, combine all the exponents times 10. So, ha, numerator, we can only uh, find for one exponent that, that is raised to 9. So, ha, denominator naman, we are going to combine all the denominators, uh, no, no, exponents in the denominator. So, positive 3 plus negative 4, that will become negative 1. So since, again, going back to the law of exponent, when we are dividing exponent, we have to change the sign of the denominator, then proceed to addition. Since maging negative 1, diba? positive 3 plus negative 4, negative 1, so the negative 1 will become positive 1. So plus 1, so copy the unit, nano red again. So 65 divided by 2.58, that will become 25.2 times 10, so 9, plus 1, that will become 10 nano rent gain. So let us make this expression into a proper scientific notation. In which, again, we are going to have a one whole number followed by decimal point or decimal number. So, that will become 2.52. And what will happen to your exponent? Since we move to the left and we have a positive exponent, which it uh, may imply that the decimal have become further away from the uh, its point. Kasi if we are going to translate this, 
So that will become um, damo nga zero nga di sa right. So kaya adian aton sa uh, dinamin uh, eh, decimal point. So since mamug pa kita going to the left, so magtitikaharayo siya by 1. Which means we are going to add the dinamin, uh, the exponent by 1. So that will become times 10 raised to 11 nano again. Kuha?